Are you excited about the new holiday catalog? I can show it online now. I can't wait to show you the inside of the new 2017 holiday catalog. Hey Kim, I'm glad you're here. Hi Connie. Yay. Hey Pam. Hi from Oregon, huh? Not exactly in my neighborhood. I'm glad you're here. Are you guys excited about the new holiday catalog? I'm excited to give you a tour. Awesome. I'll give a couple of minutes to get some people in here, but um, I'm going to go through the holiday catalog and just tour it with you now that I can show the inside, which is really exciting. And then I'm going to go through my top 10 list, which is subject to change. That's the disclaimer, because as I use things and love things, they change, but you're going to get kind of my initial impression as I'm just starting to craft with the products. And then um, after we do the top 10, we're going to put together a card together. This is the card we'll make today. I am in love with this Christmas quilt bundle, but as you can see, it does not at all have to be for holiday or Christmas cards. I'm going to send this one to a friend. We're also going to make this one for coffee and a card tomorrow. I love that bundle too, Kim. It is just, as you will see when we get to my top 10, it is like consumes my top 10 list. Thank you, Pam. It's highly inspired by one of the Stampin' Up! samples, but of course it's got my own little twist on it because that's how I roll. Uh-oh, I'm missing one of my sequins. It popped off. I'll put that on. Okay. All right, so... Here's a little sequin. I'm still trying to decide what I think is the best Stampin' Up! adhesive for sequins. I like the um, fine tip glue pen, but I make a huge mess with it. I don't know what my problem is. I've got a really heavy hand. All right, let me put these sequins back in and we'll get started with this catalog tour. All right, so here it is. Hey, Julie! Yay! I'm so glad you're here. I enjoy your vacation. Good week for it. Did everybody have a good Labor Day? Relaxing, I hope. I sure did. I took the whole weekend off. I just spent it with my family and I made things with stamps and paper. I should show you guys some of the stuff. Give you like the sneak preview. It was a good weekend of stamping for me. Okay, so let's let's just jump in. We're gonna get started here. Looking at the catalog, the 2017 holiday catalog. I love the cover. If you look at some of these samples, I found them very inspiring. I love this card. I'm waiting for this um, smitten mitten bundle to arrive tomorrow. And I love these stitched felt embellishments. And then look at this little box. I am head over heels for this special delivery from the North Pole. Just love that sample. Okay, so there's some great samples right on the cover. And we're getting inside the book for the first time. I can show you online. All right, we'll start right here on page three is the Seasons of Whimsy. This is a hostess stamp set. If you place a $150 order, hey Sylvia, I'm glad you're here. You can use your stamp and rewards towards the purchase of Season of Whimsy. This wasn't something that I could pre-order so sometime here in September, I'll probably pick this up as a host um, reward. I love that it is going to double for Valentine's Day and New Year's. You see a little sparkler here. Look at this sample. It's a great little New Year um, card. And then if you look at the, the font and this little um, sentiment whirly gig thing, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So I think you're going to get a lot more use out of this than just the obvious Christmas use. So $150 order or more, your rewards can be used to get the Seasons of Whimsy hostess set. Now we have just reached my very favorite part of the catalog. Um, the Christmas quilts bundle is what we're going to use today to make this card and I love the um, the bundle is the stamps and the dies together you save 10% and the 
dies that come with this are just brilliant. We're going to actually cut out our little quilt element with the dies. We're gonna cut the little spool with the dies and the needle. It's just a fantastic set. <laughs> Can you like this bundle too? Um, the Christmas quilt is part of a whole quilted Christmas suite and this quilted Christmas six by six paper is fantastic. I have it here. I've shown it in another video so I won't spend a lot of time on it but since we're using it, oh, I should show you these two because we're going to use the quilted Christmas and the quilt builder framelits tonight and this is the designer series paper. I have kind of what's left of one of each sheet. We're going to use this um, little red and white kind of Nordic quilt looking one and in place of the gingham tonight for a little variety. But those are the A side, B side of those two. And then this multicolor quilt, I love this. This is definitely not just holiday. Okay, this one with the trees. Huh, wait till you see this. Tomorrow I'm going to um, put the promotion video for my September class, which is um, with a spooky cat bundle. And we're going to use this paper in a very interesting way with the spooky cat. <laughs> what do you think of that? All right, be watching the blog tomorrow for the um, spooky cat bundle. Hey, Sandy, I'm glad you're here. And here's this other. I'm just going through really quick and showing off the um, Christmas, uh, the quilted Christmas paper because we're using it in our card tonight. And it's my favorite pack in all of the holiday catalog. All right, so there they are. We're at our last sheet here. There's the back. And that's the one we're using. But definitely has some uses other than just Christmas, I think. And we're going to have fun with this one, which is definitely not all Christmas. Okay, so then let's move on through the catalog tour. Next pages. Oh, and don't miss the quilt top textured embossing folder. It's kind of hidden off in the corner here. You don't want to miss that one. It's a really um, versatile embossing folder. All right, this is a fun little bundle. It's called, let's see here, Ready for Christmas Bundle. I just love this little wiener dog. If I had a dog, it would be a wiener dog. Um, let's see. But these two pages, no bundles here, just some fun, really strong um, Christmas themed stamps. Good tidings, every good wish. And then season like Christmas. I love this tree and I see it having use all through the winter, not just Christmas. And then the mega suite. Merry Little Christmas is a mega suite. It means that there's more than one designer series paper and there's more than one bundle, but they all coordinate. So this page, we've got the Everyday Label Punch and the Merry Little Labels. Those can be bundled together, save 10%. This Everyday Label Punch is um, coordinates with stamp sets throughout the rest of the catalog. It's just brilliant. This is one of my favorite items in the catalog. But we'll get to my top 10 list soon. Yeah, Kim, you love this set as well? Me too. Um, then Carols of Christmas can be bundled with the Card Front Builder dies. And the Card Front Builder is a nice one for versatility also. The stamp is very strong. Christmas, winter, holiday. Um, but if you look at the card front builders, you've got these beautiful pine trees in this night sky, this frame that's um, like a molding, and then one that's a floral corners that are, you know, pair with the poinsettia, but can definitely be more versatile than poinsettias, just change up the color a little bit. So the card front builder um, thinlets is a good multi purpose die set. And don't miss the acetate card boxes. These card boxes will hold five cards in envelopes and they're a little camouflaged in there so I wanted to point those out. Um, next page we've got our memories and more. Um, this is the Merry Little Christmas Memories and More pack. I am so tempted by this. I love pocket page scrapbooking. I feel like I actually get some pages done when I pocket page scrapbook so I'm very tempted by this I've not gotten it yet but don't be surprised if I um, 
throw a uh, project lifestyle kind of pocket page scrapbooking video in the mix from time to time. Uh, tags and trimmings. This is a really interesting um, bundle to me. It's the stamp set. I'm not sure. I'm not really not sure about it. I understand the dies and what they what they do, but the stamp set is. I'm a little lost on how they come together. I've been seeing some samples though, so I decided to go for it, and um, I should get it Wednesday. We'll see what I do with it. I love the button stamps though. Is that crazy? Like. I put buttons on everything, so to do them in stamp form would be really kind of fun. And then here we go, more stamp sets, not bundles on these pages. There's the feeling of Christmas and Christmas in the making. I really am debating these guys because I love to color, but I love my Copic markers. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we make if we get them before Christmas time rolls around. But I do like that set. Um, and the best gifts. And this is kind of neat. I was just looking at this today and I just noticed if you look at this best gifts sample here in the background, do you see how it's kind of like embossed like pebbles? That comes from the bike set. It's actually like a sidewalk piece that does embossing. It's the coolest mix of products, you know, some like outside of the box pairing thinking. I'm gonna have to use that little embossing piece from that set and and show it off a little bit because it really really works with Christmas. And here's Santa Paws. I love the animal Christmas tree. I think it would be really fun if you had an animal that was similar to any of these guys. Like you colored just that one, highlighted out just that one, really colored it to look like your animal, and just left the rest stamped in black and white. I think I'd make a very quick and very personal Christmas card. I have lizards though, so Santa Paws doesn't work for me. Hmm. All right, moving along. We've got Beachy Little Christmas and Mistletoe Friends. A little bit more on the animal theme here. The Beachy Little Christmas. If I had any access to beach, well, Lake Michigan. Otherwise, I'm a little landlocked. That might appeal to me, but Chicago and beaches don't quite go together. This is the season of glitz, sweet. I don't know what to say about this one. The samples are pretty, but I'm not feeling the stamp set. We'll see if anything changes. Maybe some phenomenal sample will come along and change my mind, but it's not grabbing me. But what I did want to point out here is Check out the mini tinsel trim combo pack. You get both the real red and the silver tinsel, and it is this bitty little tinsel garland that is absolutely adorable. So don't miss that on this on this page in this suite. The bitty bows are adorable too, and this is a really fun way to quickly give a gift card. Make a little envelope with your envelope punch board and pop one of these little bows on the envelope. My aunt also buys the um, cards, longer ones that you can fit checks or bills in, and she always puts little ones like this on our um, holiday gift. It's kind of a fun way to give a, a monetary gift. All right, Christmas sweaters. I like the Christmas sweaters, but I didn't like the lack of sentiment. So the jury's still out on that one. Maybe I'll play with it. Don't know. Um, wishes all a glow. I love this sample down here. I don't know if you're catching a glow from the light, but I don't want to fussy cut all that. So jury's out on these. Um, Santa's suit is adorable. I love the clothesline. I did not commit to it yet. I have not ordered it, but look at how cute this sample is with them on the line. And then kind of as a background, just a smattering of Santa's different parts. I like this set. I'm tempted, but I can't buy them all. Uh, let's see here. Wise men from afar and Sugar Plum Dreams. These are individual stamp sets, no bundles there. This is um, points out how the embossing is a great technique for this, and it really is, it's really gorgeous. They've got this um, cherry cobbler palm, and then the contrast is this gold embossed Wiseman. It's a, it's a beautiful sample. I'd make a fast Christmas card. And then Musical Season. This is a bundle or available in a bundle. You can get the musical instruments, framelits, dies, and save 10%. What I thought I'd point out on this one is the stamps have coordinating framelits to do the die cutting, but there's also some fun standalone pieces like the um, uh, French horn and the treble clef. Is that what that thing is? 
What is that thing? Treble clef? Okay. And then um, another bundle here, Night in Bethlehem bundle. I love this. I think Stampin' Up! hit it out of the park with um, kind of freshening up and revamping the nativity. This um, skyline of buildings is just so unique. And instead of the, the manger, we've got Mary on the donkey and um, the shepherd. So I think it was a really cool, uh, I don't know, like a revamp of the the whole silhouette nativity kind of idea. And then it comes with, or it can be bundled up with the edgelets that do this fun skyline. Good set. I think Stampin' Up! really nailed it on that one. Um, Christmas Happiness is a fun stamp set with a little bit more realistic pine cones than we've had in the past, and I love this light. Does anybody else just love this Christmas, um, this this little light here, like it's on a Christmas tree? And you stamp it in three pieces so your light can glow and your wires can be green. Uh, and they can, like in this case, they can be all gold or you can make a multicolor. I'm just over the moon about this little light. I haven't bought it yet. I can't have everything, but I'm thinking about that one. I don't have the um, pine boughs and the Christmas one from last year, so I might need to treat myself. Then Christmas Around the World Suite. I love this Christmas Around the World designer series paper. It's so colorful. Yeah, Christina, you like the light too? Not just me, huh? I don't know. It just really thrilled me. Um, these have got some beautiful plaids and some uh, stripes and lots of multicolor stuff. The framelits in the um, suite here, what are these ones called? The Christmas lamppost cut out some of the bits in the paper, which is kind of nice in addition to cutting out the stamps. And you can bundle together and save 10% on that one. I'm The jury's out on this one for me. It's so big. I'm just not sure about it either. Hey, Joyce. The DSP, you love the Christmas Around the World one? I love that one too. Is that the one you're talking about? Um, here's Darling Christmas. It's just too big for me, I have to be honest. If I tell you I love everything, that wouldn't be the truth. It's just too big for me. I'm sure that somebody's going to do something gorgeous with it. Yeah, I like that one too, Joyce. The The variety in there is really, there's a lot to, there's a lot to work with in this. Good designer series paper set. Um, Iconic Christmas intrigues me. I haven't gotten it yet. This is so busy, but aren't these the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, I love these tiny little icons. If you like to do you know, tags, little tags or packaging, this is a great set for that. But it also can be stretched to the full size of a Christmas card, which I think is, like I said, it's intriguing. We'll see if I get it. It's not on order, I don't have it yet. Uh, the kits. These are fascinating to me. And if anybody would like to get together and do these kits, please leave a comment. Let me know if you live in the Chicago area and you want to do these kits as um, a class. I would love to do it. I just don't know if there's interest in doing the kits together. They're all inclusive. You get 12 rosettes. Um, I'm thinking that they would make beautiful package toppers or bag tags. So... Let me know, and if you're watching this on the replay and it's something you'd be interested in, let me know because I'd love to do a class with that where we all order the kit and we just enjoy maybe a BYOB on a Friday night or um, hang out, you know, coffee in the in the morning after the kids are dropped off at school and just make these and be prepared for the holidays. And then the since we're on the kits, the project kit here, the watercolor Christmas is another class that I'm thinking about doing is this, like a stamp a stack. And the watercolor Christmas stamp set is 18 and the card project kit is 20. So for $38, you make 20 cards and keep the stamp set. So that's another one I'm thinking about doing a class with. And I've seen these samples in real life. They're gorgeous. They really are nice little cards. Yeah, you saw a demo of the rosettes, Joyce. I... I saw the um, kits, the actual kits at my Uplines house, and they're really nice quality. Great kits. Um, let's see here. The Snowflake Sentiments bundle. There's another bundle. You can save 10% when you get the um, thinlets and the Snowflake Sentiments stamps together. This is one of my more favorite samples in the catalog. 
but I haven't committed to this yet. I haven't bought it. I like both the card and the gift packaging. This one I'm thinking about more towards the end of the summer. Julie, you love the card kit, the rosette kit, or both? And would you like to do them together sometime? Um, you're a cheer suite. Okay, this one is blingy. Uh, the Year of Cheer Specialty Designer Series paper is a little different. There's only four different designs, but there's three of each, and they're all foiled. Um, don't miss this champagne foil sheets right here. So we've got gold, silver, copper in the annual catalog. There's champagne now, and this is just gorgeous. Don't. It's easy to miss that, though. These um, snowflake foil snowflakes are so cool. Um, they're not paper, they're, they're not metal, they're not plasticky, they're just different, and they are gorgeous on fall projects, so don't miss those two products as you're looking by. The other thing that's really easy to miss in this suite is this Winter Wonder Textured Impressions. It does an embossed snowflake, and it's just gorgeous, but they're all three kind of uh, hidden away within the suite. Smitten Mittens. I love it. These are a little big, these are a little small, and that's what I think the criticisms are, but I am really looking forward to playing with this. I will get this tomorrow with my order and just can't wait to jump in. One of my favorite things, samples in the whole catalog, is this little um, garland of mittens around this little baked treat. So, I don't know, I had to have it. We'll see what I do with it. It'll probably be featured in class somewhere in December because it's a good one to go past Christmas and into the new year. Um, Hearts Come Home. I did a Facebook Live with this card and I'm really thrilled about this. The um, edgelets I haven't used yet and they're a little intimidating to me because they just cut the edge. They don't actually cut out the, the pieces, but I am going to make something with them. I promise. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try those edges. All right, the seasonal lanterns. I got this one because of this sample. I think it's beautiful. But I also think that going forward and mixing with other products, the seasonal lanterns are going to be really um, versatile. One thing that came to mind right away with this is the um, succulent garden. Remember the little um, succulents? So making... Um, like terrariums out of the lanterns and the lantern die cut. So it's going to give some new life to that retired bundle that I still have. But I also like that it's it's fall and it's Hanukkah and it's Christmas. It's just got a lot of versatility and mixing and matching will be fun. I also wonder about maybe somehow um, putting a little cupcake in there or something and stretching it to birthday. We'll see what I do with it. I thought it had a lot of creative possibilities and I do like the artwork. Uh, cheery chirps. I like the cheery chirps but there's no sentiments and to me it feels a little naked. I don't know. We'll see. The, sen the sample down here is really beautiful. It colors nicely. I don't think it'll be one that I order though. Oh, I love this. It's like a partridge in a pear tree. Um, hug in a mug. Very good for winter and holiday treats. And half full. I, I think half full might be coming to my house sometime soon. Uh, let's see here. Season to Sparkle is also available in a bundle. You can get the chandelier thinlets and the Season to Sparkle together and save 10%. I wished yesterday I had this because I was making a Halloween treat and I needed a spider. And there it is. There's the spider. Um, it's got a lot of, uh, it'll, it'll run the whole season. You've definitely got your Halloween, um, winter and Christmas. And then with the little hearts here and the sparkly gems and stuff, you could definitely go, and love is in the air, you can definitely go Valentine. So this will go straight through, you know, the next six months of crafting season. Here's another one. Look at the spider and I haven't ordered it. I needed a spider last night. Um, this, the little things, it'll be on my next order for sure. I, it's, I've regretted not ordering it on the last two orders. So this one's definitely coming home. The next order I put in, um, Halloween, Christmas, 
Valentine's or anytime and anytime and they're just gorgeous. They really make a quick treat, um, even a quick card. The um, Festive Phrases, another one. I'm loving all these sets they have in the catalog this time where you've got Halloween, Holidays, and Valentine's. Lots of versatility. And then the Labels to Love. That one coordinates back with the Everyday Label Punch. This is a must-have for me. But we'll talk about my top 10 in just a minute. And then Merry Cafe coordinates with the um, Coffee Cafe Suite. The Coffee Cups... I think it's called Coffee Cups Framelits. Let's see. Yeah, Coffee Cups Framelits dies from the annual catalog. Coordinate with this. And it stretches out that um, Coffee Cafe Suite through, you know, uh, apple cider and, um, you know, pumpkin latte season all the way through Valentine's with Love is, Love is Brewing. I love you and coffee. So this goes all through the season too and gives new life to that Coffee Cafe bundle if you picked it up. Um, it also has a little perk up that fits with the coffee cups framelits die that's that size but doesn't coordinate with any stamps in the annual catalog. It only coordinates with the paper. So I was really excited to get a stamp that coordinates with the die. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a little interesting. Um, wonderful Life. It's a really um, cool stamp set. When you check out the sample, it really brings the set to life. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. We'll see if it if it ends up coming to my house. Seasonal Chums I'm going to feature in one of my free tutorials. If you place an order with me, you get a free tutorial at the in the following month. So like last month, if you placed an order with me, you got a tutorial, three card projects, and it gets emailed to you for free with any with any purchase. So I feature a stamp set each time. Last month, um, we featured Happy Birthday Gorgeous. This month we're featuring the um, Pick a Pumpkin, I think it's called. We're going to get there in just a second. Yeah, Pick a Pumpkin. And next month we're doing Seasonal Chums. So this is this is going to be a fun one that gets a, a lot of play at Kitchen Table Stamper because we're working on a tutorial for that for you for gift with purchase. Painted Autumn Suite. This suite is so much fun. I have a thing for sunflowers. Sunflowers and ladybugs, I guess. Um, I love that it's a punch bundle, so when you bundle up, it's only $33.25, which is really a good price for a great versatile stamp set and a tool, a punch tool. Um, the Painted Autumn Designer Series paper has been really fun to play with. There's so many colors in it, it can really look different depending on what you put together, which patterns you put together. So it's been fun and surprising to work with. I like this painted autumn designer series paper. Um, this is my class for October and I'll have a preview of that class coming up pretty soon. I just finished it um, Sunday. And then um, Gourd Goodness. I love these multiple step stamping stamps and I'm very tempted by this one, but this got my attention. The Pick a Pumpkin Bundle with the pattern pumpkins thinlets. You can bundle them up, save 10%. It was this sample right here that did it for me. And these dies have not left my table since I got them. I really just love this. This is, we'll get to my top 10 in just a minute. And then the Spooky Cat. Spooky Cat Bundle is my September class. I'll show you that tomorrow. Ah, uh, Christina, you love Pick a Pumpkin too? Me too, and I thought, you know, it's kind of a little obscure set at the bottom of the catalog, in the back, and, but I love this. Okay, you and me both, sister. Um, spooky Night Suite has got the Spooky Cat. We're going to really focus on how this can be stretched way beyond Halloween in the September class. I can't wait to show you those samples. Maybe I'll flip through them at the end of the video. But um, this is on my top 10 also. I love the um, Cat Punch plus the Spooky Cat is only $31.50. You can't go wrong at that price for, the, for these tools. They're forever tools. They never run out. And if you hang with me, you'll see that the spooky cat and the cat punch are really very versatile and i'm enjoying the spooky night designer series paper too um we are at the last pages of the catalog tour i can't believe it okay 
graveyard gate and the detailed gate thinlets can be bundled. Um, I'm going to be honest again. Here it is. They look like chess pieces to me and I don't like it. So I skipped this one. The gate is beautiful. I thought how gorgeous would this be cut in the um, diamond glimmer paper and then put one of those boxwood wreaths on it. It'd make a beautiful Christmas card. But I skipped this one because I did get Creep It Real and I got Spooky Cat. So um, this one, I am working on the cutest little treat bucket right now. I'll show you that in a couple of days. And you skipped the... Um, graveyard gate and got the other two Julie yeah I don't know there was just something about it it was just off a little bit and then you're invited we don't do Halloween parties and so I'm never really gonna make a Halloween invitation I don't think so anyway that's that's it that's the stamping up holiday catalog I think it's phenomenal I think I lost a die while I was flipping pages all right so top 10 list are we ready um, Number one for me is definitely this Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper. I love the color palette. I love that there's some great versatile all-occasion patterns in there, like these ginghams, um, these quilt patterns. They definitely will stretch past Christmas, and the colors are fabulous. So that's number one. Um, the next thing on my list is the quilt, the Christmas quilt bundle. Um, I think that we talked a little bit about it. I love the different die pieces that are in here. I love that the quilt can go far beyond Christmas. It is an all season stamp set. Um, the stitched felt embellishments are the next thing on my top 10. They are such high quality. They're so beautiful. They feel fantastic and look at how sweet they are on the samples. Okay, so here's the little Holly. Here they used the felt star and tied just a little bit of um, extra thick baker's twine on it. They're just gorgeous and they really are nice quality. I ordered them up and I'm in love. Um, the quilted Christmas ribbon is right next to me so I'm going to pull that in because that is number four on my list. I just think that this is so beautiful. It's like ribbon candy. It's such a nice little detail and a little bit can go a really long way. Just put a little loop on your card or a little loop at the top of a tag, or it ties a gorgeous bow. Um, it's red, white, and green, so it is very Christmassy. I would have loved to see this come out in some other color combinations. Um, pink and brown, blue and gray would make beautiful baby ribbons. Uh, it's just a really, it's a different kind of a trim, and so I'm pretty thrilled with it. So that's number four on my list, was that it? All right, number five on my list is the Spooky Cat Bundle. I'm having a really good time with this, and you, the price can't be beat. $31.50 for those two forever tools. You can't go wrong. Um, the Spooky Night Designer Series Paper. I wasn't sure about it when I saw it because it's so orange and black. Um, but it's got such fun versatility. The little owl from the stamp set fits into the little tree branch and moons and then just cut them up so it makes for fast cards or treats. The um, cat in the paper punches out with the punch. The dot pattern, the stripes, and this, um, I don't even know what to call that, like a lattice pattern. Those can be really more versatile for fall, not just Halloween. So I'm won over by the Spooky Night Designer Series paper. Um, number seven on my top 10 is this Pick a Pumpkin and Pattern Pumpkins Thinlets bundled together, the Pick a Pumpkin bundle. I, I have done so much with this already, and I haven't done a lot of stamping. I just keep grabbing this. I grabbed it the other day and used it with um, those quirky critters because these dyes are just phenomenal. So that's number seven. Number eight would be the Painted Harvest bundle. Again, I think that what's really got me is I love that bundling the punch with the stamp set is very affordable and it goes a long way. These flowers can be used very traditionally as the sunflowers, but they're also great in pinks or blues or, you know, go kind of crazy with it. Sandy made the most beautiful card with uh, sunflower stamps in blue. It was amazing. It didn't even look like the stamp set. Um, I'm glad you asked about the mini pizza boxes, Joyce, because it was one of the things I wanted to talk about in the tour, and I didn't. I like the mini pizza boxes. 
but I will tell you that they're already on um, low inventory and that scares me. So if it's something that you want, I'd order them fast. Um, same with the tubes. The treat tubes are already on back order, but I guess there's um, thousands of them that are coming in in two weeks. So if you want either of those, it was one of the things I wanted to point out during the tour, I would order them up sooner than later because um, they were extraordinarily popular, both of them, and I am afraid that um, they're going to become hard to get. We've only had the catalog live for a little while um, to, to customers, and the demonstrators bought out all the supply of the treat tubes and have put the mini pizza boxes on low inventory, so pick them up if you want them. I think they're, they're a huge lot of fun. I just am a little nervous about the supply issues. So pick them up fast if you want them. Um, the next thing on my list, number nine, is the um, Labels to Love stamp set. I like that one even better than I like the um, Everyday or the Merry Little Labels, but number 10 on my list is the Merry Little Labels bundle. I just love the versatility of um, that Everyday Label Punch. I hope that it carries into the next catalog. Holiday catalog punches don't always, but um, the Everyday Label is such a basic shape. I hope it sticks around for a little while. Um, let me see if I can find this one. I've got to go a little further here for Merry Little Labels. Where is that Mega Suite? Somebody hid my Mega Suite. There it is. All right, so this is the number 10 is this bundle, the Everyday Label Punch with these. But if I were choosing one or the other stamp set, I would go with the Merry, or I would go with the Labels to Love stamp set and the Everyday Labels. But since it's available as a bundle with the discount, I got them both. Uh, there's the labels to love. So those are my top 10 list. Julie, just get back out and come back in. I'm going to make the card. Okay, so let's get started making this card. Do you guys have any questions about the, the holiday catalog? Does anybody need one? I'd be happy to send them. Just shoot me a private message and I'll send you a copy if you need one. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is stamp my quilt uh, block and then we'll cut it out. Got a photopolymer, so I got my stamp and pierce mat. And we've got lots of ink pads here. We're using basic gray and pool party. And lemon line twist. Pam, you have the same top 10 as I do? We're like craft and soul sisters. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a lot to love in that catalog. It's kind of neat that we like the same stuff. All right, so um, I stopped telling you. Lemon Lime Twist, Blushing Bride, and Real Red. Now I'm going to bring my stamp or my ink pad to my stamp. I don't do the symbol monkey thing. You don't get even inking. So what you want to do is always bring the stamp to the ink pad or the ink pad to the stamp. That way you get even application of the ink. Better control. No symbol monkeys. All right, so we want to stamp this over to the left just a little bit because we're going to cut it out and we're also going to cut the little spool out of this scrap. Um, tonight I will archive this video on YouTube and on my blog and add a project sheet. So if you want all the measurements and stuff, that'll be on the blog. Kim, I will definitely archive it. It'll be on YouTube and there'll be a project sheet with it on the blog, okay? All right, so there's our little quilt square. And then we're going to start with our lightest colors and move to our darker colors. So we've got the pool party and the stripes. This is a trickiest bit here. You need to take your time and just line up the corners of the pattern with the corners of the quilt block. And I think I got it, but I'm kind of looking through the phone. So ah, it's up a little bit, but it's not bad. All right, then we're gonna switch to the lemon lime twist. So I just did a quick wipe in between. They're similar colors, so you don't have to be perfect. They're both cool. All right, then you're gonna skip one 
rotate and stamp in this next segment. Hmm, I think that's pretty good. Not too bad. Then we'll switch to our dots. We'll do a lighter color first. So we got the Blushing Bride. And we'll then get the next one. And we can go straight to the real red without cleaning. It's not a big deal. And we'll fill in that last segment. There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? I literally squealed with delight when I stamped that the first time. I was like, how am I going to contain myself on Facebook Live? All right, so there is our beautiful quilt block. And while we're stamping, I'm going to grab a scrap and my sentiment. Ah, thank you. I saw a thumbs up float across. Thank you. Um, the sentiment says, when life gives you scraps, make a quilt. And we want to stamp that just a little bit to the right of center on our sentiment panel. And then I've got one more whisper white panel here. And we're going to stamp these little X's along and so we want to go off the top and then down to the right a little bit and then kind of auditioning where our sentiment's going to go we want one down so it'll poke out underneath the pattern paper we want one that'll peek out on the top of the pattern paper and the sentiment and then one to the left okay so there's our stamping Let's get the big shot and do some die cutting. All right, Julie, I will catch you on the replay. There's gonna be a project sheet on the blog. If anybody's got any questions, just let me know after. I'll make sure the video gets posted tonight. All right, now, some quick die cutting here. We're going to use the framelit die that cuts out the entire little quilt block. Get that one on there. I've got some low tack tape right here and I'm going to just cut a tiny tab of it. And then I save all the scraps when I cut my glimmer paper, my foil, and um, I just throw them in a little bucket because they come in really handy for bitty embellishments like this. So I've got some silver glimmer paper and the needle. We're going to die cut that and then we're also going to throw this little spool on our whisper white. So that's all of our die cutting in one pass. That thrills me. If you guys know me, you know how thrilled I am when I can do all my die cutting in one pass. So there's our gorgeous quilt block and these two pieces, we'll get them out of the die with the little low tack tape or washi tape. Did you see that trick? That was worth the price of admission right there. All right, so same with the needle. I'm going to grab the back of that and we'll just pull it right out of the die using the low tack tape. Easy peasy. All right. Now we're ready to assemble. And I want to start with some pool party thick baker's twine and some glue dots. We're going to wrap some thread on this little spool. I'm going to put a glue dot on the upper back of the little spool there and then just wrap okay I want them to be kind of compact one more time around but before I go across the back I'm going to add another glue dot the 
Okay, I've secured the thread in the back and I'm going to cut off a couple of inches excess. So there's our little spool. Now the needle has got a little eye and I gotta poke the center out there. Got a little paper piercer. And now it can be threaded right onto this excess. Trying to thread a needle with the bone in between me and the project. It'll be exciting for a minute here. Ha, huh, thank you, isn't it adorable? I love this little spool. This is one of the reasons why this is like on my top number one of this, of my top 10 list. So little, little details like this. All right, let's see if I can get this threaded through. All right, I did, I licked the end of the thread. I don't usually do that stuff, but I am on live here and we don't have all day to watch me thread a needle. Okay, so there's my little needle and thread and now I'm gonna cut off the end that I licked. Don't worry, there. Oh, gross. You guys get to know me way too well on Facebook Live. Sorry. Okay. Back to the card. Regularly scheduled program. I've got some dimensional adhesive and some multi-purpose liquid glue. And the first thing I'm going to do is flip my sentiment. Add a bead of multi-purpose liquid glue. And the designer series paper. I'm using a little bit different pattern here. I want to show some of the girls the versatility. I've got coffee and a card tomorrow. It's a drop-in style in my Chicago area home studio. So if you live in the area, you're an adult crafter, you are welcome to join us for coffee and a card. It's every other Wednesday, and this is the card that we're going to make. Okay, so I've glued my two pieces together. Now I'm going to glue them to this main whisper white panel here. And you want to glue them to the panel so that those two little X's peek out top and bottom. And I'm going to get some dimensional adhesive on this little quilt block we made. There they are. Now, some more dimensionals on the back of the card here. I got a lot of bump going on. I don't like when my card caves in, so we got a lot of dimensionals going on there. to pull them off two-handed. I don't know if that's making me faster or slower. Ta-da! All right, so this is a thick Whisper White card base. It's four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. We're gonna center that. Oh my gosh, it's just as cute with the other pattern, isn't it? Look at the two patterns. All right, now for the little spool, I'm going to put a couple of glue dots on the back. And then I want my thread to come out this side. All right, add it on a little tippy there. And then I'm going to loop the thread and glue down the needle with a little multi-purpose liquid glue. Let the thread to loop underneath the needle. And of course, I'm getting all gluey. Okay, 
There it is. Huh? How cute is that? Hold on. My sentiment's covered. There we go. Now it's done. There it is. When life give you, gives you scrap, make scraps, make a quilt. Oh, you know what? I forgot to embellish with some iridescent sequins. So let's do that. Thank you, Christina. I love the card too. I really had in mind that this was going to go all season. So the stamp set is really attractive to me. Okay. I've got a couple of little iridescent sequins here and I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue on the card and then I'll drop the sequin into the glue. <laughs> or I'll fling it across the room. All right. So I hope that you guys are excited about the holiday catalog. I sure am. I think that there's a lot in there. There's a lot of versatility. I can't wait for you guys to see what I did with the spooky cat bundle and see the, the fun versatility you can get with that stamp set too. And that bundle. Thank you, Connie. There will be a project sheet on the blog, so don't forget to check out kitchentablestamper.com and you'll get the project sheet with the measurements and supply list. And I'll archive the video on YouTube and on the blog in case you want to see it again. Oh yeah, this would be really good for Project Linus cards. Absolutely. All right, last sequin and then we're done. Does anybody have any questions about anything that they saw tonight? Anybody want to share their top 10 list? Leave it in the comments. Tell me what's on your top 10 list. All right, guys. I gotta go think about dinner for this family of mine. And I've been on a roll stamping. I'm hoping to get some paper crafting time in tonight. If there's anything I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Oh, I love the little hearts. Thank you. Thank you for watching, Pam. My pleasure. All right, guys. Shoot me an email if you need anything.